Hi, and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. Those who follow my channel will know that I recently built a new quiet dust extraction system, link below. This has encouraged me to extend extraction to more tools, such as my mill drill. I could just do this by fitting manual blast gates to these new outlets, but I've got bigger plans. More after this. The standard method of having several extraction ports is to fit each with a blast gate such as this. You close the port currently open and open the one you want. More complex systems do this automatically. You may say that in a small shop such as this, automatic extraction is not really necessary and you'd be quite right. But that would be no fun. The normal solution is to use gates like this but to motorise them. However, my arrangement would mean two gates right next to each other and some complex plumbing to get the outlet pipes pointing in the right direction. Could I combine them? My solution I call a rotogate, a rotary valve that can connect to either of two ports, or to neither if a port elsewhere is being used. It works like this. A cylinder with a bent hole through it can sit in this position and port A is connected. Rotate to point 2 and port B is connected. At point 3, neither is connected. So that the tubes meet the cylinder is exactly what I need plumbing-wise. There are no sharp turns to impede the flow. Of course, all of this is highly experimental. There are a lot of things that can go wrong. But join me on my journey, and we'll see where it pans out. The parts were all made on a 3D printer. It really is the way to go. The cost of the filament was around £2. Remarkably cheap for a complex set of parts. I used a gearbox motor from a previous project with a 516 to 1 gearbox ratio. The main body is a cylinder with three interconnecting tubes designed to take 40mm waste pipe. The top fits this and has the motor mounted in the centre. Then there is the rotor, which is a close fit inside the cylinder. The motor drives this by having a rectangular brass coupling that fits into a matching cutout in a brass plate glued to the rotor. This means that slight misalignments of the motor and rotor do not cause binding. This means we have a system that will rotate the rotor to the three positions. But how do we stop them at each point? I used a Hall effect switch. When in the presence of a magnetic field it acts as a switch. I glued a 10mm button magnet into the rotor and then fitted three Hall effect switches into recesses in the top aligned with the three stop positions. A few electronic parts and that is it. If the design is successful, I will publish it on Thingiverse. I designed the plastic components in Fusion 360 and there are three main parts plus a cover for the motor and electronics. Here is the circuit diagram. Pause the video if you want a screenshot. There are four wires to the gate, ground and three demand lines for each of the three positions. Applying 12 volts to any of the demand lines causes the motor to receive power through the blocking diode with the transistor giving the four volts to the other pole. Only the Hall effect switch associated with that demand line is powered and will cut power to the transistor base when the magnet rotates to the correct position. A current sensor, the same type I used before, can switch on the 12 volts to the demand line when it detects power to the power tool in question. I will use the same 12 volts to switch a relay to power up the extractor. Here is the gate rotating into place. It seems to work very reliably. There's no suction or dust interfering at this point. Next step is to try it out in practice. That's for another day. To be continued as they say. I hope you found this interesting and hope to see you again. Bye for now.